financed by Insane as king to honor the monarch, Mike Tyndall's latest fitness line is offered in Royal Trust outlets. Along with James Hall, a fellow athlete, and TV host Alex Payne, Mike Tyndall debuted his most recent endeavor off the rugby pitch, his very own line of Jim the Rugby Star, and announced the Black Eyed Jim's global launch. The good, the bad, and the rugby's devoted fans, who first had the idea to launch a gin brand, were so enthusiastic about the concept that it was born. The trio collaborated with the renowned gin distillery Hawkridge to develop a special recipe that they all adored. The result is an incredibly smooth spirit with a unique blend of botanicals from each of the rugby nations, as well as notes of juniper, floral nuances, and fresh citrus flavors. You may purchase the brand at certain Masters of Malt locations as well as online. It is a Catalyst Spirits product that is distributed by Maverick Drinks. What makes Mike's new gin even more intriguing is that on the first anniversary of the Queen's passing, it will also be sold in Royal Collection Trust stores. According to a source close to the palace, King Charles provided funding for the launch, while Prince Harry disregarded the anniversary despite having returned to the UK. By placing his new wine brand at Royal Collection Trust stores today, Mike paid tribute to the late Queen. The late Queen was well known for enjoying gin cocktails, and one of her favourites was a gin and dubbinet with lemon and ice. In contrast, King Charles wants to try the new wine brand from Mike Tender with fresh citrus upfront flavours. One of the intriguing facts that have been unearthed about the Lake Queen since her passing is that she was a renowned rainmaker, which has been remembered by mourners. Darren McGrady, a former royal chef, revealed that the Queen used to have a first drink just before lunch. The drink was made of gin and done on it with a slice of lemon and lots of ice. She thoroughly enjoyed this drink at lunch. The Queen also had a piece of chocolate and a glass of wine after she finished a meal. Gin appears to have been the drink of choice for the Queen, although gin has many benefits for skin health. The new vintage English sparkling wine was also introduced by the Royal Collection the previous year to commemorate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The 39 limited edition bottles were produced to commemorate the monarchs. Using only hand-picked fruit from vineyards in Kenton, West Sussex, Milestone is a traditional blending of Chardonnay Pinot Noir and Pinot Minia. The gold embroidery on the Queen's estate robe worn on a 1953 coronation day served as inspiration for the label design. Gold olive leaves and wheat ears surround a crowned Elizabeth II cipher to represent peace and plenty. Music